initiative to choose us. Then he provides the power to use us. Follow me. He says, and I will make you fishers of men. Not go make fishers of men. I'm going to do this in you. My grace in you is going to transform you. There's no way these disciples could carry out the commands that Jesus would give them. He would have to do this in them. Why does he design it that way? So that he gets the glory through them, through us. You think about these guys. You got Peter, the disciple with the foot-shaped mouth who would one day preach the first Christian sermon and just like that, 3,000 plus people are saved. And all throughout, you could go and all these other guys, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, all these guys. And our lives, God, do a work in our lives and the churches we lead for which you alone can get the glory. For which you alone can get the glory. I was, I've told the story recently, just been deeply impacted by some time in India a few months ago, and two guys, Anil and Hari, chicken farmer and a su- school superintendent, who three years ago in one of the most unreached, darkest places on the planet, began to share the gospel in one village, and three years later, there's 350 different churches and 350 different villages that have come about from the school superintendent and chicken farmer. And I asked him, what would y'all do? And he said, only the hand of God could have done this. And my heart leapt in silence. I thought, I want to be a part of something in my life and, and in this country where, for which only God can get the glory for. It.